Uh, now, I don't know if you knew that we had a vigilante in our midst. He chased down a drunk driver. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up! Put your hands together for Mr. Scott Bailey! <laughs> We're gonna go with what? You guys can hear me? Should I pull like a Phil Donahue thing, kind of walk through, you know? Okay. <laughs> it's weird. I don't like not being able to see everybody, but. You want the light up? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that attractive. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, I don't know if storytelling is the talent, but I got some really good stories. Um, I'm going to tell one today. Many of you've heard this. I've told it once or twice. This happened to me about nine months ago, but. Uh, it's called Memoirs of a Window Washer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I was, I was doing a, uh, I'm going I'm to touch it to my lips. <laughs> well, I've been doing it all night, don't worry. I'm down in Sacramento, and by profession, I wash windows. And I'm doing this gal's house, and her house sits up a little high higher than the other homes in the neighborhood, and I get inside, and I'm doing one of the windows, and I can look out her window and look into the neighbor's backyard. And uh, the guy was growing like 70 plants worth of marijuana. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, look at this, this is crazy. I don't see this every day, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm going to snap a picture and send it to my wife. You know, normally what you do, when you see a forest of marijuana in the backyard. Yeah. Uh, some random guy's house. So I'm inside, and I, 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 I open the window, and I pop the screen out just about this far, just enough to get my hand out there with my phone. Snap, take the picture. <laughs> Yo, what are you taking the picture of, dog? I'm like, oh my gosh. And I look over and I got one of my, my partner with me. His name's Greg Barley in the Woodside Ward, and he's outside. And I look at him and I'm like, did you just say that? And he's like, he's like, oh no. This is like, this is like in West Sac, in the. If anybody lives in West Sac, I apologize, but in the hood. <laughs> so I pull my head out the window, and there's this, like, six-foot-five, humongous guy staring at me, and he's like this. What you taking pictures of, dog? What you taking pictures of? I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking a picture of something of my wife, I swear. <laughs> And he's like, oh, you're just admiring my plants, is that it? And I'm like, well, I'm not really admiring them, you know, I don't smoke weed, but I guess so. I just wanted to take a picture, send to my wife, I don't see it every day. He's like, oh, all right, all right, well, you know what, since we're taking pictures, let me go get my camera and get a picture of your face. <laughs> so this guy walks back into this house, meanwhile his entire family comes out and they're all hardcore looking, right? They got like... Teardrop tattoos. <laughs> exactly what do you want to see, right? So he comes out with his camera, and I'm like, I'm like out of the window, like, <laughs> right? yeah. it's like what he was willing to do to me was worse than what I was willing to do to him. So you submit, right? <laughs> All my brothers were like, hey, you know, you, you, you wussed out. I'm like, well, I mean, come on. I mean, seriously. <laughs> so this guy starts snapping pictures of my face. <laughs> And then he goes out to my, my van, starts snapping pictures of my license number, license oh, plate. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, yo, buddy, listen. I'm like, I didn't even really get a picture off, like, faked like I was deleting a picture. You know, I hadn't even got a picture. He, he screamed at me so fast. And I even looked at his house before I took the picture and looked, anybody was out there looking. <laughs> so he was looking. So, uh, so I shut, I shut the window and I turn around and my client's standing right there. She's been there since, she's been behind me the entire time. She goes, um, I think I know what that was about. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. I was not, I don't, I'm not going to go rob him or, it was a huge misunderstanding. So, um, 
there's a moral of the story, and I think everybody knows what it is. Don't take pictures of guys, uh, marijuana going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have time for one more? Yes. Yeah. I do. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Some of you have heard of the story as well, but this is another one that happened. Memoirs of a Carpet Cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> it's another thing I do, clean carpets. And uh, my younger brother, Glenn, worked with me for a long time before and after his mission. He and I went to a house down in a beautiful home, beautiful neighborhood um, in the pocket. And we go there, and, and the gal, she's, um, she's maybe pushing 50 years old. So, young, huh? not old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I knew watch I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay. It's so. my birthday. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get through the story and then you'll understand. <laughs> so she was pushing 50 years young. And uh, so me and my brother get there. And my little brother, he's pretty funny. And he and I can get together and we, we have a lot of fun together. So... Knock on the door and she opens the door. She goes, What's up, guys? Yeah, come on in. Let's let's peeps out this place. I'll show you what kind of carpets we're doing today. <laughs> she starts walking around, and me and Glenn are like, Oh my gosh, honey, you're like 50. What are you trying to act like you're 12? She's like, Yeah, come on in, guys. You know, yeah, let's show us, let's, let's peeps out my pad. She starts walking around, and we're like, Oh my gosh, it's one of these ladies. <laughs> so <laughs> we get to clean in her carpets, and she comes up, she goes, well, you know what? I'm we're gonna, I'm gonna bounce out. So peace, you know. We're, I'm out of here. And she left, right? So we and my little brother are like, I'm gonna bounce out. <laughs> you're like 50. What you, I mean, come on. You're not 20 anymore. You're out of high school. Let's just get on with your life. Don't act like you're like 11 years old. You know, talking like a grammar girl, grammar school girl. So we're just ragging on her. What a tool! Oh, Can boy. you believe this? Ah, and then she comes out of the laundry room where she had been for the last like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, oh. She was a nice gal too, like. Uh, so when Scott it, it was literally like from here to this door where she was at, and we were ragging on her, and we were loud. I mean, I'm just naturally a loud guy. Same with my brother, he's louder than me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, and she comes out and she's like, alright, you guys, well, I'm really gonna leave now, so. <laughs> So she goes out the garage and she leaves, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm like, Glenn, do you, do you think she heard us? He's like, yes, she heard us, she was five feet from us, in the laundry room, and I'm like, oh, I've done her promise like ten times, she's never going to have me back, and he's like, no, she's not. So I go and open the garage, and I see the lights on from the garage are shutting, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, okay, Glenn. I'm gonna go to the laundry room and you talk about as loud as you can. <laughs> and I want you to talk about as loud as we were talking so I can, you know, I wanna know if she heard us. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, good, good, good idea. So I go to the laundry room and I'm, you gotta go around the corner, you know. Go around the corner and I'm like down this weird alley in her, her bedroom. I mean, not her bedroom, but in her, in her in the laundry room. Some weird place to be in her house. And my brother's like, <laughs> I'm gonna bounce out, what a tool! And I'm like, I can hear him just like it was on a, this microphone. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna bounce out, what a tool! And he goes, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh no, yeah, we're just a, oh, oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, oh. And I go, I'm like in her laundry room, so I'm like, <laughs> she comes around the corner, she double back, came through the front door to get like something else. So, here's my brother talking crap about her by himself, and I'm in her laundry room. Okay, so, moral of this story. Don't talk crap or Don't talk. Smack, there we go. Go <laughs> for brothers. Don't talk smack about people behind their back. It ends up being bad, but I woke up in the middle of the night that night like, what did she think I was doing in the laundry room? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, anyways, it was pretty innocent, but those are my stories. Thank you. You can, Scott.